Lake Mead, the nation's largest reservoir, is on track to reach some of its lowest water levels ever recorded by 2027, intensifying concerns about the southwest's strained water supply. Currently, the lake sits about 7 feet lower than it did in 2023 and 2024, a visible decline that both tourists and locals are noticing as shorelines recede and once-submerged areas reappear. Today, Lake Mead is hovering at just 30% of its total capacity, a stark reminder of how much the Colorado River system has been depleted after more than two decades of drought. For Las Vegas, which relies heavily on Lake Mead for nearly 90% of its water, the stakes are high. If the reservoir continues to drop, residents could face higher water costs, tighter restrictions, and growing pressure on local utilities to find new ways to stretch a shrinking supply. Southern Nevada has done a remarkable job conserving water, but there's only so much efficiency can achieve if the source itself keeps shrinking, said one regional analyst. Experts warn that replenishing the reservoir is no easy task. Hydrologists emphasize that a single wet year won't make a lasting difference. Instead, it would take several consecutive winters of above-average snowfall in the Rocky Mountains, which feed the Colorado River, to bring meaningful recovery to Lake Mead and its sister reservoir, Lake Powell. For now, the outlook remains bleak. The entire Southwest is locked in what scientists classify as a severe to extreme drought, with little sign of immediate relief. If the projections hold true, Lake Mead's downward spiral could soon trigger tough decisions over how water is divided among cities, farms, and states that depend on the river for survival. The once mighty reservoir, which for decades symbolized abundance in the desert, now stands as a stark warning. Without significant change, the lifeline of the Southwest may be running out.